Hey everyone, this video's topic is the problem with sensationalizing undesirable behavior in dogs. Or in other words, showing dogs behaving badly before you show them after training when they're behaving perfectly. Now, I get a lot of requests from people in comments and emails saying, can you please show the dogs behaving badly because in your videos you only show the dog looking perfect as they go from step to step. And I have to tell these people, oh, I'm very sorry, I can't show the dog behaving badly because what happens when you let a dog rehearse undesirable behavior is that every time a dog rehearses a behavior, it makes it more likely to happen in the future. And if you make the dog do the thing that is undesirable first before then training the dog, you're actually setting the dog up to not be as successful in the training if they've already rehearsed the behavior, especially if they've gotten extremely over aroused. Now, a lot of people who do film production, they will film the dog a few days before so that the dog isn't then over aroused or over threshold when they're then doing the training. But I suggest that it is not in the dog's best interest to film this in order to get more views for the TV show or the YouTube channel. Um, and I know that uh, one of the one of the reasons people might do this is they want to convince you that the method might work and it seems like a good idea but in my opinion I'm putting the dogs first over um, changing people's minds so uh, I'm not going to show the dogs behaving badly in any of my videos Sadly, we do live in a world where people are more likely to click on a video of a little girl getting attacked by a buffalo than they would be to click on a video that says how to walk safely on nature trails and stay the appropriate distance from wild animals. So um, I get it why people want to show the dog behaving badly, but it's just not in the best interest of the dog. Another reason that it's not a good idea to show a dog behaving badly is a dog behaving badly tells you nothing about the solution to the problem. And you can make any dog look bad. In fact, you can make any person look bad with the right environment and the right editing. Any dog can act fearfully and aggressively if pushed into that direction. So by filming a dog acting aggressively and then labeling them as a demon dog or an aggressive dog or a stubborn dog, it really doesn't help anyone besides um, perhaps getting more views to the material and getting people to look at the training method. But in my opinion, it's just not worth it for the actual dog who is being filmed. Now I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to make a dog look bad. Now this is Splash, she's 12 years old, and she is the most chill border collie I've ever met in my entire life, in the entire world. She is so well behaved in the house, and when I do vacuum cleaning of my house for the last 10 years, she's just been an angel, I don't have to ask her to do anything, she just snoozes on the couch while I do the vacuuming. Okay, and now I'm going to make her look like a demon dog around the vacuum cleaner. Okay, now I'm going to show you the demon dog, but I don't want her to get hurt, so I'm going to give her this ball. Ready? Catch it? Go get the ball. Get the ball. Are you ready? I'm going to get you. I am going to get you with a hoover. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This dog is out of control! a circumstance where there's already footage of the dog behaving badly or undesirably that the client has and they're willing to show it on the internet, that's great, but it also encourages other people to do the same thing, showing the dog behaving badly before the dog behaves appropriately. I hope you enjoyed watching my demon dog turn into this sweet, lovely angel of a dog with my training. See you later, guys.